Farscape. A Bug's Life. He goes then in his former cell, to resisting him with chains that Peachley was used to secure him during his long imprisonment. Chains and links were attached to the ceiling and passed through with two ring, metal rings that encircle his collarbones. The ego holds the chains in front of him, tugs fretfully on their moorings above him. The ego murmuring, I cannot believe this is happening to me again, said Anne. But this time, the ego, it is by your own choice. The ego avoid, barely. Pilot cut to him in den, and he pulls by a comb with open air, air of distracted study, approaching my orders at the dent. And Dago says it's definitely not from the great crisis command carrier. Dago, there are other ways to deal with peacekeepers, said Anne. Let's try Crichton's way she exits. Dago to himself with some disgust Crichton's way. Cut to Zidane and tug of war Rigel in his cell. Zidane forcefully. If we were going to tempt this Rigel, it means no phone left, Ned. And then she wrestles his over chair away from him. At least Rigel grunts and stares after her. In an impressive expression of his face. Cut at Aaron. She's a lie, arming self of attire. Attired in black and red peacekeeper, therefore, PK. Uniform. Cut to. Shot of PK Mulder approaching Moya with vapours, seen from its right side. Zayan is in a quarters by a comm unit, hides up her sleeves, Zayan by comm. We're in a ready now, pilot. Pilot understood. That he shuts and locks the cell doors in prison. There you go. Why do you want to say Dan? Dr. Bain has landed. Four PKs exit. It. Aaron greets them. Aaron standing with her feet apart. Weapons held awaits so left and trained on the visitors. Identify yourself. The PKs advance. Weapons are drawn. Regiment assignment. The Cora. Confrontational with Siberian. Like Aaron. Her darkly handsome with a dark glaze of rakish five o'clock shadow. Invent, invent, identify yourself, Ava Aaron. Attend Aaron's son. Asta, Asta, a regiment. Special duty assignment. La Croix, well, Captain. My son is none of your business, Captain Aaron. It's ever so mightily mocking. Having some more trouble, some trouble with your order, Captain? La Croix, Sukem Fiorium. Sukem Fiorium Leak. We're lucky that we found you. Aaron, you think? La Croix, awful big ship for one big girl. Aaron, oh, I can handle big. John enters his dress in black and grey PK uniform. Well, Corley stalks of Aaron's side of effects, a rather nasal accent. Somewhere between upper across British and strange is that playing acting with the peacekeeper. Jack John to Aaron. Ease your weapon, Lieutenant. She hesitates. That says an order. The quick, smart move, Captain. He and his men lower weapons too. John, what are you doing aboard my vessel, Captain? A quiet emergency situation. My team are priority red one mission. We need your b- boat here to complete it. Therefore, under Article 14014, Decker, you have slaves of the adventure card. I hereby assume command over it. Your crew and you, your sh- team, show weapons. John Stoppy, oh, I think not. And that, with that, D sits in Crestley. Nearby, opens fire, lugging a quill's weapon from his hand. So them more join in. Send Pacuco scurrying for cover. PK, looking at where it DNN, DNNs. What the frail? John, you need my help? I suggest you ask nicely, Captain. John and Aaron, giving the crew the grand tour, they pass the prison cells of Moyer's crew. Aaron, Nadan, does not look at them. Devian, they're back. A very attract, quite attractive one. He walks away to look at the Dago, so you will recapture them. Out here, our new techniques, fighting flight. Fighting flight? Aaron, are you check? You have been experimenting with a phony emitted sorcery by the use of control collars. Do a quick, how are you controlling the ship with a collar? John, neutral control or the pilot sh- ship pilot. We you control him? He controls the sh- ship. Carl, yes, I've heard that. You've been working on that. But every test flight so far has been lost of fun in the crew. John, his tone is cold. Well, so far this test flight has gone without hitch to all you come aboard, Captain. Tell me what precisely is your mission, the quick. Don't have any clearance to know anything about my mission, Captain. John, ah, the quick, but let me make it simple for you. I've got one crate, I've got to get it back to the piece of control without delay. John, in losing an accent for a second, one crate? The quick, you see how simple it is? John, well, of course you're welcome to travel back with us, however. The quick, no, no, you see, you don't read me.
It's urgent. I'll give you a set of coordinates and a base. We can be there in 20 arms. Aaron, 20 yards, but they will mean the base is out there in the high of Charlie Territories. Your back crack is the new Grandma base secret. Need to know only. The since you've been asking, telling me there. I guess you know, need to know. Yes, it's here. The high Charlie Territories. So the PK crew roughly dropped their high tech looking crate, transporting it to the floor as a free look up. Hassan on an attractive female PK. Hey! Don't we just catch his prize with both our hands and tinker poles? Fawn, a broad, furry, civilian, PG, PG grunt, shaved head, and the air of Cabrera Defri. Whatever you say, Doc. Reen, another scrappy board. PG, Kylie grunt, a chenier, piece of a tray. Hey, what's this, chenier? Ah, may I approach, Sean? Do you get as close as you want, darling, chenier. Cousins only me tend to you. There's proper food waiting in the centre chamber when, when you're ready. Vaughn, add boots shine, Captain. Not a not, non rig server like you for a board. Guess he's not a big enough as I thought he was. What do we, what do we pay you for you, sweetheart? She ain't any, not much, I'm sure. I say, and it's annoyed. I said, I want to check the content, contents. Now, two leering grunts, certainly. And no big hurry, move to obey her. And open tr- Quite crate as the you know, Gina watches. Flat pedagogical shaped key, combination used to release the great soil. The lid closes ominously, a vapor rate right escapes, but you cannot see what's inside. Paul slotting back to Shinny as he releases, he finds the great key to his belt. We've been out here in the uncharted for, for nearly a full cycle looking for what thing. It's a long time, that's, that's a long time to hang on. Hang with just a captain, those two, Shinny, furthestly. Nearly a toll cycle. Well, it's a long time to be searching for something. I'm sure the captain's vibes must be very valuable. For all that's none of your concern. Yourself with honey. She down giggles and turns to offer him a drink from a tray. We like. But she fumbles the drink and slushes it onto the floor. Quickly makes to wipe him off as Anne becomes alert. Oh, I'm sorry, Fawn. Not a problem. She down flustered. Really? Fawn? No, not a problem at all. I said, if I would in the centre of the train, we've got it. Now leave us. She then complies. She then she gets hall. She passes a look at the per- putty she had in her hand. Oh, it's a perfect impression of the key of the crate. She smokes, ha, huh, too easy. Central team, Aaron and a quick enter. The grunts are, are eating and ignore their entrance. Aaron gunning, grinding the grunts. So they certainly not, don't pay much attention to rank, do they? The quick, my people will follow every one of my orders instantly. Without question, if I ask them to spit out of their eye, I expect them to drop dead trying. Make sure, make them stand up because I walk them into a room. Come on, I expect them too much for that. It takes a tray of food comprised largely of what looks like green mashed potatoes. You've never in, in face of special ops before. I hadn't heard of you. Everything is regiment level it has. Okay, oh yes, what they, what is it they call us? Aaron, black ghosts, bow hat. It's supposed to be an insult, teasing. Because you know, I kind of like it. Our own insult, definitely, definitely, actually. I can see one of your t- I'm one of your type. I'm on a transfer barge. I'm sh- changing troop shifts. I used to have a couple of Rykots. I recognize them, kept uniform. They must have been attacked you. They were back interrupting. You must have been, we clearly offended you, setting a tray down in front of it. But it's only a bit. And just think, you just got to sit down and eat with one. Aaron smiles. John, he's unchaining Diego, Diego, all right. Enough is enough. This sham is over. I say we storm them now, John. Not a bit too pleased. Shroud, perhaps. No, no, no. Working, they think I'm peacekeeper, Captain. So then, she's also in her own cell. Aye, John Dryley. Certainly your friend's convincing. Diego, sarcastic. Yes, we're glad people was left on board. You know, you're very uh, fetching. So then, John, Diego's right. Perhaps we should take them. Now, while we still have the element of surprise, Maya, it's the final stage of pregnancy. John, we have 20 arms before we can get anywhere near the base. So you learn as much of these guys as we can. Aaron's supposed to be grilling Lil Cat right now. Diego, what is going to happen? Aaron gets sick and tired pretending to be take your orders. Aaron, then John, the closer we get to the base, the more dangerous it is for our, all of us. John, what is it? If it and what if you're not the, not the only base? Maybe me, but flying round the untracked thirties. Try to tell me the of what the peacekeepers are doing out here. That to me seems dangerous, Diego angry. Well, I can tell you for one thing, for free. I'll not be chained up again, John Fine. 
mistake on not having that door locked. John, fine, just stay out of sight then. We best get very, very you will harm me with this. Cut his eye yourself, Zidane opened the door. Zidane in a loud whisper as he, as she dare go, John entered the great room. So it was empty. She grabbed his arm wall. He used his escape, his escape route. John, beautiful. So let's go find the spark if he screws his thing up. They go, yeah. He lets funny before you screw it up. He exits, starts down the corridor, but suddenly Paul's voice is heard around the bend. One well, sight, I take this tear. You've got to go, Jay, John Diego and Sedan. Scroll back to the way they came. Sedan ducks into a cell and shuts the door. John shuts the Diego and grabbing the chain's motion to Luxian. John, in a loud whisper, Diego, come on. Footsteps approach Sedan, hissing through her teeth at him. A thorn knees him. Creator, let them out. Get them out of here, there. John and Dago approach it softly, taking away both around him. Dago, the moment's fallen, appears. The hall and Dago texts John. Fallen in things, looking Dago back. He grabs John, pulls him out of the cell, shuts the door, Dago for himself, gets the bars and stars. Before mocking to John, guess, we are pretty lucky, so I came along, I did. Captain, John, if you ever laid eyes on me, eyes on me again, I have take you on my charge, he stalks off Fawn. See the phase and continues in the other direction, says Anne. Dago did well, Dago frosted with anger. Angry too well, he slams his head against the cell doors. Where central chamber was Aaron is still grilling the crack. They lean on an elbow and gaze at each other. The crack, oh, have you ever fly anything a little sexier than a Lexian? Aaron at sea, I studied flying scope. Scrub runners at 40 cycles, half a cycle later, KO 80 and 81. Proud of tech school, age 16. The wreck 16? Why did you wait so long? Aaron had to. My feet didn't, didn't reach the pedals. They both chuckled. So you said you'd be now here. Yeah. I'm Charlie Terry's here. Almost a full cycle. Looking one of that fingers in the crate. The crack. And sooner I got get it into someone else's hands, the happier I'll be. Don't ask, because I'm not going to tell you. Aaron, why? Because you got to kill me then? The crack. Very serious. Stay away from it, Kay. Aaron, nodding on his... Nodding at his weapon. This isn't a status gun, is it? The crack. Come in handy on this trip, Aaron. Well, that's for capture, not killing. Look, you said this base what we're heading is a gummick race. A military experience military, right? Are you sure that it's wise to take whatever that thing is? The crack science military perfect long poles. Let them deal with it. Should Anne where, where, elsewhere Maya with the help of being I at D, she's making a key for the old mold she lifted for Kaon's great key. Sedan nipped by Dida. The and uh, 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 later, oh, watch me cutting. The then squawks grossly. Back, huh? Easy for you to say. Great in cargo bay. So Aiko approaches, backs it, closely, closely matters to himself. He tries to peek in the cloudy window in which cover Sedan enters. Why just startling? Oh, how dare you sneak up at me like that? I should make you wear a bell round your neck, Sedan grinning. Keep your fancy to yourself, Bob boy. Uh, Right away as he approached his fences about you, Ack. I, I, I never. Sit down, sit down. I've seen you looking at me. You want you want to be a pervo? You want to practice gobo? Ah. As guy just sniffs and turns his head. You won't don't get all your skivvies in a, in a uproar. Like I care. They crouch on the side of the crate. Thorn patrolling McBoy's corridors, Rain. Come, phone, Faustus. Thorn, yeah, Rain. I'm going to check out from Congo by Rain or Com. Proceed, Fawn. Okay, Roger that. Kleiner and Rigel and Crate. Rigel, what are you going to, doing here anyway? So then, me? Everyone is supposed to stay in his cage, Rigel. Well, uh, Pilot said we're bringing something on board. I thought I'd come down here and see if I could, uh, see now you are here for the same reason I am. See if anything inside worth scuttering. Rigel, snitch, snatch. I don't snatch. I have a chill cure. Can I look at the, in the interest of not getting caught. I agree to have whatever you we procure. Where you have? I was here first. Chene, but I have the uh, the key. Where you ah okay half. Chene grins and then looks at the very great paper skate and slides slides out its seal. Looks like it's one serious piece of hardware. Look at it, open it. Chene, what's what me? China, don't you want your half? Whatever it's in there. She said, well, your half is in there too, mind your finger, flooding his fingers. I'm not your practical. Tina, I say, I, I, you, fire off, Vognus. She moves the seal to inner compartment of the crate. Ah, it's hot, Rigel. He leans forward to peer. Steam rolls out of the crate. What is that? 
China leans to close too. The Indian clears the creature reveal Rigel makes a sound of disgust, white and dreadgrenous, treacherous, to the unrecognizable of a face like a face, like a face fallen in the corridor preaching. Cargo by Sinier, do you recognize the species? Rigel, if I did, I wouldn't admit it. Up. Sinier, whatever it is, it's still alive. The creature makes a bubbling sound, but Chinny and Rigel turn as they hear the sound of Cogger Bay door opening. Fawn enters, he sees an open crate, Chinny and Rigel taken over. He raises his weapon, crouches down by the creature, laying the crate. He stretches past seats with orange light, Fawn groans, and shudders. Trina and Rigel look up of from hiding. Rina enters, calling. Rina, hey Fawn, Captain's after us. We better get down to the. Uh, sees Fawn in the open crate. Holy Drin, how did it happen? By calm, Captain Drain. We're going to get down here. Fern shoots Rain, cut to pilots. Then, Violet, quietly, a single shot the car area. Fires ourselves then, hearing pilot to calm. Then, pilot, weapons fired. There you go. Shirad is definitely over. Pilot, open doors now. Cogger Bay, Fawn returns to the crate, strangles the creature within, within his bare hands. It squeals horribly. Rigel, horrified. What's he doing? She says, shh. And Aaron Harrison, the quail advancing on the cargo bay. Fawn, the creature with a terrible scream, the creature dies. Rigel, well enough, he makes it to go. Sheena and Rigel, Rigel feeds from through his one of his escape routes. Fawn has heard him. He comes bef- and before Sam can escape, catches her with an arm and a roar. He kisses on her mouth finally. They both see woozy when he releases her. She kicks back richly. She then flees, cut to Aaron, has Sam got a crack. I'm hiding, finding rope run in. Run down, they advance on the Chicago Bay. No crack spread out. If it, if it moves, shoot it. Aaron sees the open crate and the dead creature within. What is that? What is it going on here? The crow with dreaded escape. John entering, using his PK captain in this What escape? Brief shot to Cheney, looking very like, like herself. Cargo Bay. She says she's dead. Someone has suffocated her. John striding into the bay. It is escaped. What is it exactly is it? Aaron seeing fallen on the floor, moving towards him. He's alive over there. Look at Aaron. No, step back from him. Now John deadly. What are you thrilling so thrilling afraid of? Aaron, Captain. Look at breeze reluctant. If it's reluctant. Command swing of command set us at the even fugitive fugitive recovery. Rooted we were after is a virus. We finally isolated the virus. It was using the creature as a host. Gets a dead thing, the great. Aaron, an intelligent virus, has said we caught the virus when still in its single affection stage. Aaron, meaning it can only affect one host at a time. The great, unless it gets a chance to play its spores. John spores? The great, yeah. Giving on, giving on, inside a, a, a single goat host, can lay a couple of million spores. Aaron, does that? And that is whole in. In the galaxy, in some serious felling den. Dren, John, fake excellent wavers for a moment. Right then, the virus is inside the creature. Now it's somewhere in the ship. Aaron, not somewhere inside someone. I say the virus isn't airborne. Can he move from one host to another by physical proximity? Aaron, you still have to really be close to whether they've got it. The cat start talking for him. What happened? Fawn, I don't really, can't remember. Then we entered suddenly, get stuck into the floor, Captain. John, Captain. A crowd rounds up on her with his gun. John intervenes. Lower your weapon, Captain. He slowly does. And John approaches his hand. Sedan, on your feet now. What happened here? Sedan was walking past the saw Rigel. He opened up the cage somehow. He got it open. The crowd howl. Who's the crowd? Rigel. Aaron, the Hyphian prisoner. Sedan, the pizza came in. He attacked. He knocked him down. He stole his weapon. Shot the other one. John must be Rigel? Saying this virus can make a host muscles, but all at once, increasing strength. The crowd, Fawn, this is what happened. Fawn, it could have happened. The crowd, where is this Rigel to go? Stand the shaft, the access shaft. Sam, it could be anywhere on his ship. The crowd, we got to find him, for the virus has time to integrate a transfer to another host to John. How in the hell did you, one of your prisoners get loose? He is saying, Fawn, lose. John Aaron, he drops the accent. Let us get this straight. Rigel's been possessed by some mints and men but a virus. It's going to lay eggs and affect all of us like Aaron. Um, we don't find it. Aaron, that's about it. John, great. Well, I think that under the circumstances, it is a little bit scared. It's over.
Aaron heatedly. Under circumstances, these commanders are primed to shoot at anything they do not trust. Anything that is over is our chance to give it, take them by surprise. Disaster, Crichton. She puts eyes his peak cake it. It's a grave misfortune that we film them. Do not fit me. She exit. John the Chin Ann, who's quite obviously uh, quiet. Always a party, come on, stick with me, you'll be safer. The crackly team are moving warily forward to see Diego Zan and the sails, laying in wait for them up ahead. When the creaky caves are close enough, Diego steps out of hiding, fires upon them with his quanta. John and Zitan are foot trading the creaky caves back in the run and catch up the scene. The crackly team have taken cover. John with two minutes PK accent. What's going on? Dago fires another shot and scores. Surrender yourselves, the crack. It appears some of your prisoners escaped, Captain. We have to we don't have time for this, John. We're getting in a firefight. There may be no one left to find a hearing in. You need them. The savage yell, Diego Diego fires again. The crack to his team and orange John. We're taking them down fast, found. Let's do it now, John, before they can rush Diego steps out. Corridor between the two groups of calls. Can Diego send those and then? Station aboard this ship, which we were un- unaware of. Situation which threatens all of us. We have intelligence the virus aboard. She is in a hurry in his house. He escaped, he's hiding somewhere in his ship. If we do not find him, I say him. For this virus has a chance to delay its balls, then we all die. He goes closer to Diego and then to his voice and his accent. We have to work together on this deal. Diego loads his weapon. A DQ's. Cage full of suit. So the train is very quiet and looks at the disappointed. Command all are assembled except Rigel. The quack. We refer fast and thorough in pairs. Nubby gets it alone from the mo- goes it alone from now on a moment on. So the virus best defence is moving from one host to another while Nubby's watching. So Nubby knows who it is who is in it who's in it. It is in it waits and lays its spores. Zan, there's no way of testing its presence. As then, well, the host body will show signs of high intensity. But after the virus has left, so only while the virus is hampering, there's no way of telling until it's too late. The crack. See, the Arthurian, you hit him, you hit your comms and stay away from him. No physical contact whatsoever. Believe me, we don't want this thing choosing you to implicate spores. John, right then, let's do it. The pair, group pairs off and leaves. She then and John walking down a corridor pilot, but crisp and cooperative with Shroud, which need to be carried on over over the command system. Yes, Captain. John report. Pilot, my DNNs have checked all the Vertiers passageways. No sign of him. I expect he's still in the Nexus shaft system. John, concentrate on your search there. Pilot, as you wish, Captain John John to Trinity. So half and in half out of his uh, PK accent. So he shaft it, she follows so he follows him. I'm in the crowd, moved silently through the, another corridor. Hallway. I cut the dagger and fall in another corridor. Then Zidane, is that? And Zidane. And yet another corridor. Another. Zidane. When the virus moves from one host to another. Does the original host remember that it's been infected? Saying no, the virus leaves behind us. Who am I to genetic? Instructs the homo's short term memory system, leaving them a little dizzy and confused. But they remember nothing experienced. Saying my people. I had an experience of the intelligent virus once. Entire expedition colony was destroyed. My mother and family were there. Even the Vernonian High Council couldn't do anything about it. Zan gives a, an odd look and he moves ahead. Zan says under a breath, I'm sorry to bore you. Sidan and John preparing. Sidan, Sidan and John preparing to enter the Nexus shop. John, come on, Pip. He has a Sidan. Sidina. Mip pulls his look at the small confines of the shaft and smiles slightly of fish follows. Aaron and Lil Crack. Aaron, when you first found this thing, why didn't you kill it while you had a chance? Crack, there was a mission. Mission was to capture one alive. That's what my team and I spent the best part of the cycle doing out there. Oh, that's what's left of my team. Aaron, why should anyone want this thing alive? The Crack study it. Tame it if they can. When they release the clan of intelligence to control viruses among your enemy, and a few yards later, they took your entire armies. They're working for you, Aaron. All right, but catching one clearly a suicide mission. Look, like it was a challenge, Aaron. A challenge, a challenge that cost you three members of your crew. Apparently, there must be some big countries we haven't heard about before. Look, like four. It may cost a lot more than that before we catch it again. There you go, Fawn. Another access shaft, Fawn. 
You first, Dago, you have a weapon. Phone, you first, Dago grounds and comes out first. John and Christiane on the other side. John, we've got to find Roger soon. The island's almost up. How do we? Do, how does a dying virus get to be smart anyway? What does it do? She's at Gina. Starts moving close behind him. When we find Rigel, it will find Rigel. We better find some way to kill a stinky virus without killing him. A moment Aaron breaks into home with her comms. Aaron, we found him. She's in the halts. John, location. Aaron, central chamber. John, on the way. I don't quite go in the centre chamber. Look, looking for position. Outside the smell shaft entrance. The two cats outside our mouse hole. Rigel cornered in the shaft. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I'm not coming out of here. Shall you tell me what the yo yo is going on? And to Luquek and Shinye Hassan, John is his end. Enter his trap, but you don't have a clear shot. Luquek, if I miss, it takes his status gun several microts to recharge. San, don't have a serious mirror. We don't have several microts. Shinye, why not have a regular pulse rifle? Luquek, no, I've got to take him alive. I do moans in terror, flashlight beams play over him. They go form with eyes, the rocket on its aim. I do hold hard grass to sight, gun muzzle. What the yuts are you going to do with that? John certainly sounds like they're Italian. They sound it's supposed to. Exactly what the virus does. Why do you listen to me? Listen, let me speak. Ah, I know my one. It's, it's a creature, isn't it? The thing in the box, he blabbers. Frankly, John in a... Rolls on her head and slowly turns towards John, fixing him a dead stare. He stares back. He starts towards him. Listen to me. I wasn't the only one. I uh, Listen to me. Your crack's gun winds. A build up charge. I'm not the guilty part in this. The crack fires and the larynge collapses. The crack hit him. He's down. Hey, all right. Let's get him out of here. Into the container box. Down below now. Diane looks down over his shoulder. Sit down. See now. And just see now. And John's in there, they're moving away from him. It but looks disoriented. John is facing away. Cut to his face as he draws out his upper lip, way from his tip and slide and snarl. There you go, John's then walking over to Gavin in the corridor. Then he must formulate some sort of antibody to kill the virus without killing Rigel. Well, there you go, yes. That's why we should have been in transport hangar, working with a proficiency, not a lock cell. John talking fast. Now, if you don't, you might kill Rigel. You might think your magic pill worked, but why you always walk, walking around ship, coughing up spores? Cat to dogs living together. No, only chances is no talk to peacekeeper science officer. What's her name? A woman with a nice snips, he strokes his mouth. A sand, if anyone knows about it, that an antibody, be her. A day go forget about your use of force. You think you can make a sand tell you about the antibody na- and name me a peacekeeper? You bet, who would, would give a royal den if you stuck a co- charged pulse gun? The head. Then he stopped. They have stopped John's tirad and st- stand facing him. Look, John. They're now on direct course for the peacekeeper's base. There you go. I would rather be not be locked in a cell than be arrived. John, I say, we need to find out about the base. If we have the time, let's use it. Let's not blow it going around the ship waving guns about. And when he's top priority, look as soon as I leave here, going straight to Hot Lips, he hands a, lends a hand. So on each of their laser hand on each of their shoulders, trust me, Dago sighs. Dago walks to the cell, which is standing outside the close of the door behind him. John locks it and the moment Fawn turns to the corner. John delivers a savage backhand. Blow across Fazan's face, he's thrown back into the shell. John shuts the door behind her. Fawn, come to see if you need a hand. Doesn't look like you do. John, no, I reckon not. Right then, he stalks away, Fawn follows. As Aaron, Hassan, and Lokak have gathered as Rigel's place, hot by a containment grate, is sealed Aaron. So what happens to her sin once the virus be leached from him? They quirk. He doesn't know this, but he's already spoken his dying words. Hassan, not a pretty process, she walks away. Lokak slips out of a body bag, containing the remains of Zenzo Regrin. Regrin head. Lokak, you see, you know, to make change of bringing out this virus. virus. But then, Rickley speaking, I have to say it's winning. You know, this may sound funny, but you think about going in special ops, Aaron B. Look, I've seen you in action. What are you doing on a new star regiment plan? Huh? You've been wasted here. You're wasting yourself here. Phone polls plus, I like the idea of having you buy. Aaron makes the response. By the time he flushes, he's zipping up the bag. Let's just give a, get his assignment closed out, huh? He makes to leave. Aaron, no, isn't that? I'm cracked, turning back. Look. 
I know you got your captain to consider. High command. Going to have pretty, I have plenty to say on the subject. But if you and I get some time, go to it, Bay. Base. Maybe we can sit down, talk about it. She smiles at him. Got a small face. He turns away, away again. John entering the transport hangar. Hassan is a proper prophecy. Hassan, Captain John, Lieutenant. Hassan is quite a collection of herbs and spices. Who uses them? John approaches no one. Now I have no idea. It was all abroad prior to this tech mission. Hassan, well, it's fascinating of combination. Combination for so many different worlds. John attacks and beats him to death. At destroys the state's gun. Back to prison cell. Dago and Zidane S- 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 um, talk across the corridor to Dago. They believe that the virus is still inside Rigel. Zidane, so yes, but they also think no test to be certain. She's in there entering and coming to the end cell door. Pilot says, you want to see me? Zidane, so yes. Tell me how you're feeling. Zidane, so fine. Zidane, so are you feeling us? Zidane, so no, well, yeah, a little. How do you know that? Zidane, so she gets one of Moya's silky sheets and puts off us. A fold of it. Fill the bell as a genius. Here, look this. Do you know what? What's that? Your bed? That's your bed cover. Is everyone on board this, this boat? Is everyone board this ship? Keep not. See, then the material contains liberous, liberous fibers. Just look at it. See, then slowly, quickly does in a bronze collected bro- color bro- habit, which he licks to turn red acid. You're virusing you. See, you know what? Are you tinkered? There you go. When the virus leaves its host, leave behind us telltale toxicity. Shinny, don't you think I remember? If I had someone thought of, said Anne, no, you wouldn't. There you go. The virus is no longer Rigel. There must be somebody else. Cut command, John is there. Aaron, go crack, enter. Aaron, pilot, you put in increasing speed. Pilot, you're sounding less and field. It's everything in trinal now. Yes, I turn, captain, concentrating approach towards the colonel that's given to me by Captain Crack. Aaron to John. Is that the case, Captain? John, it is a tent. I want, I, I want us at a great base. I bug off my ship as fast as possible. No crack. I don't. I we couldn't read more. John grunts in satisfaction. Aaron whispering to John. What are you doing, sorry? John half a, in half out his face. Oh, excellent. I do exactly what a commander my position would do. As commanders are not stupid. I'm doing my part. You you do yours. Get the damn information loud of a crack. It is large. Of a large casualty, Captain. How did you ever manage to find it? Finding it, something as tiny as a virus. The crack perseverance. Aram, quick, about to go right by. We headed. John cutting off. He must be a very patient man. He strokes his mouth. Very methodical man. The crack, a very good trekker. John sharply, held sharply. Oh, I say, a great trigger. For an entry and captain, the mates of bay, the tent has hand. She's been dead, dead, the exhaust gun is destroyed. John reaches for a weapon, a Dago. She didn't enter. Dago, nobody move. For oil fires upon him. Aaron, no. She does on form. More shots are fired. Then now rushing in. The virus is still loose, pointing. I believe it's in Crichton. John grins, attacks at great Aaron and crack. John subdues him. Dago subdues him. Subdues him, Aaron. Dago. A crack, fawn. Now rush him to hold him down. Zan pulls back, horrified. Then, oh no, realize they're coming to close physical out down. John, we set up no accident. What's going on? They all move away from each other, draw weapons. Each eye and everyone else warily. Aaron, uh, tell, don't move. John, are you people crazy? What's everybody looking at? What's everybody looking at? Zan grasping the virus, John. It's in one of us. Things deteriorate roughly. Panic sets in. Everyone starts shouting at everyone. Who make, gets, makes a move, cries, and move yourself away from me. Move away, get back, stay away, Luxian. Stop your weapon now. You are you a herd in the chaos. John, shut up. The yelling continues. Shut up, shut up. All you, shut up. Somebody talk to me. Aaron, the virus has decided what you, and it's decided one of them. She indicates everyone else in the room. John, oh, how about that? Oh, what do you mean the virus wasn't me? Suzanne agitated. It was it never it wasn't in Rigel. It was in Suzanne. She passed it to you. Suzanne, I don't remember things. Suzanne sharply. It wouldn't. Neither will you, John. Part of the virus's defence. You go, wait, wait, wait. What's what's this, John's there in? There you go, growling. The topic is off a moment, Captain. Indeed you are the captain. John stops stop. Virus is inside she ain't. Suzanne, her body, her city was abnormally high. That is a sign, John, can the virus 
Re enter someone. Oh, he's left him for no. John quickly. Good. China. Over here. He comes to stand next to him. No crack. Hey, hey. Wait a second. Who are you? John walking out. Off topic, Captain. Remember? Okay, so the virus is inside one of you. He gets it, wor he gets it worked out lamely. And you got all got guns, right? Great. Aaron, we a bit panicking, trying to reduce it to something she understands. We all, all shoot at. It's, if it starts shooting, it'll kill it where it stands, John. Well, there's only one, one, one thing comforting, Aaron. So the virus will probably start shooting first. Fond of the crack. I see, and we cut the odds of smoke of all. Right now, the crack. Rear? Yeah. How do we know it isn't you, huh? Maybe you are the really ones. It's a cut of the competition. Fond, how do we know it isn't you, Captain? Can twisted in its sounds. What we have here right now is exactly what we need. Guns in a lot, of, a lot of hands, pointing at each every direction. What about the freezer gun you had? Look at you destroyed it, John. What we need is some way to kill the virus. Now, uh, while well, we got it trapped here, there you go. Yes, anybody. Zan said she could make one. John, you're willing to try that? Zan, I'm willing to try anything. Off of her at Christmas Eve. The girl took it as moved there and stand with guns trained on everyone. As Zan works the others away, there's a search for anybody. Well, be one controlled by the virus. So then you, you realise I don't have the components I once did. Aaron, I c just keep working, so then. Then I figure that with such high density, I need something I would adjust the body's alkaline levels. Bump up some, each species' natural moon system, the crack, kindly. Yeah, well, whatever it is, yeah, you're taking it first. She now observing John grazing morosely the clumps of so then. Now you're nearby. Hey, line up. You, don't, you can't, can't do, do it. Well, you did, but it wasn't really you, both through Chine. He makes a spot to Zan, really. The Colonel Fong directed their guns at her, I know. You sh me first, she administers the serum to herself. They go, the pause as they all watch her. How do we know it's worked? Zan, an acid based life form, would have to be a initial reaction to this level of guy, if it doesn't kill it. Now, defense is a continuous stare, can stealth at her. She prepares she made something harmless. To the virus and barely to the rest of them. Well, you saw the components but I, that I put in. John right over here. He motions Zan to move away from the others and takes the government gun with the serum. Okay, who's next? Aaron. I will John admits his serum. She grimaces about his arms. I told you, she moves past him to stand with Zan and Chine. Fawn stepping up to John, do it. The affection is given after Paul's he grunts and it grunts. It's that's him. Fairly fallen is a problem with Luxians. Scene becomes aquatic again. Fallen steps back towards Dago. The crack will face off. Three of them yell at once. Dago indicating the little crack. It's him. Drop your weapon. Look fallen to Ego. Put your head down now. Do it now. The crack to fallen. Shoot him down. What are you waiting for? Dago to both of them. I'm telling you. Drop your weapon. The crack is suddenly in silence to John. Right. Do it. Me. Do it. Just do it. We can prove it's him. We can kill him. Come on, John stepping up to choose the next recipient of anybody. Any mini money, Diego. Diego rejected his eyes rolled back for a moment, and as the others watch him, the crack sleeve howls and begins firing to cover his treat. Aaron stop him. The crack disappearing down to Moyer's dim corridors of Aaron. Diego, John, and Fallen in pursuit. Pilot will be a calm pilot. Pilot have been monitoring. The ends are searching. John cut him off. Don't him know it off his tear. Pilot closing access points now. Why is great door over doors as tears swing shut and seal the searchers? Separate and they make their way stealthily through the area. Close several corridors cut to the, each of them. Turn and finally to Aaron. The crack appears from behind the drone, sir. Knocking her gun away. Fawn turns as he hears Aaron's voice and calm. Aaron, lower the crack. The crack virus, not exactly, but this shell of his is going to forget me. And to a peacekeeper base, Aaron struggles like a Mando Airfield trained PK. She not, cannot schedule a crack. Fallen appears and is shot dead by a crack before Aaron knocks his gun away. John and Dago appear in a crack at first. Aaron in a chokehold reaches down and draws a field dagger with its sheath. He holds it poised over his shoulder and says to them, Stay back. I learned a lot from time. I spent inside you. Fuses want to stay away from the peacekeeper base as badly as I want to get there. So where? What, so here's what's going to go. You're going to get me to the motor ship. 
Without any inference, and you'll you'll be free to blast yourself far away from here as you want, Dago. Quite your John. But I said that a spawn could contaminate thousands of people. Was able to contain contained again. The crack virus. I'm sorry. Is that a problem? Aaron telling Carrington, you have just got to do what do what you have to do. The crack virus softly versus Aaron. There's a crack guy. He never he really likes you, a lot. And with that, he buries a blade and Aaron's knife in his stomach and flees as she sinks the stomach floor. John, Aaron, they go, no, John, no good. No, oh, God, no. He runs to catch Aaron and knees her down. She's grasping, choking down at you. Also running at Aaron and she shouts at John, you go, you go after him, the virus can't reaffect you. Go, go, Aaron. Bones in agony. John takes her away after the crack of virus. The ego calls frankly to Zan. I calm Zan. She any. The crack is headed to transport clanger. Zan, who stayed with Zan, takes off the hanger. Zan, I need you down here at tier seven. John to my sub 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 passageway. Come on, come on, quick, hurry. Transport hanger to the crack virus enters. Trina is waiting. Jumps her him from behind. He easily throws her off and continues towards the marauder, but he has another used her selfish skill, fever skill again, lifted his, his P414 deck of four AD, PK operation level. The great virus pulls the marauder, fires up ranges, John enters teenage coughing the crack virus man and then fire com, the transport hanger pilot. Still the outer transport doors, John hearing her as he watches the small ship power up. No pilot. Is that ship still looking? Says him for him. John, pilot, yes. John, softly, then let him go. And as he does, sneaking through the way, cut to John, spitting, spitting towards. Come on, pilot. Uh, stand by for Starbus, pilot. In den, primary, primary flash. Finish with the charade. Maria is not in condition, Starbus. John, standing, standing rather captain like. Not full, Starbus. That's the first stage. I want this ship noise to tell where she is. One hundred degrees. Right now, on my command now. Pilot crew, like your bays. My turn's tail brings her frozen plates into the sunny field trail and nights as she initiates Starbus. A result explosion follows the field trail to the like a burnt flame. Her long fuse and explodes spectacularly. John murmurs to a boom. Zidane, tending Rigel in his quarters of the egg looks on. Zidane, for Rigel, as she's ranging tail around him. Relax, you'll soon be back to normal. Why do we like? Well, I don't think I'll ever cover the inferno contraption. There's enough cold tails in the universe at the start. Zidane, perhaps we should lock you up in the refrigerator here for a few hours. At least we wouldn't have to listen to a recess of whining. Why do I owe such sympathy? Of course, I should expect nothing less of you. They go deadly. You can expect nothing less, less for nothing... And nothing for me. You aspire to open the crate. Anything that happened to you now, you brought that upon yourself. Why do you look miserable? Then I'm sure you don't. Well, has, has a lady taken? There you go. She watches him and he makes no response. I see you have to move the chains for yourself. There you go. And they will take great pleasure in destroying him. If there's anything I'd ever learn, Francesco, that so I will never be chained up again. So then I pray that will be the case. There you go. You can pray you will like. I'm expressing the fact no to hope. So then I hope so then I hope I understand your plane, there you go. It must have been a difficult interception to carry out. The angel willing. Tap difficult, difficult interception fair. I end up boxed on a snow bait like some Magurian table spot. Is an outright right. Failure, normal voice. Of course I know what this for the star looked frightened. But they never pull it off. So then, ah, oh, you, you let you let him lock you in a cell with unknown mountains of peacekeepers. We're allowed on board. Very interesting. Perhaps next time we shall will follow a plan of your devising. Why, well, yes, perhaps we will. There you go. Next time, I pray there'll be no next time. Aaron Cornish, he wakes up from sleep. John is sitting nearby. John, welcome back. No, you, you know for a while there's a then. You weren't too sure you'd be making it back. Going to make it. Aaron, what's happening to the virus? What's happened to the virus? John is dead. Aaron makes a grunt. There might be a word for good, but good, good. So he's a little crack. John, sta- he stabbed me, didn't he? John, yeah. Quickly, you got uh, you got lucky. You missed your heart. Aaron, closer than that, you think. Huh? So I'm the spacekeeper base. John, spacekeeper base. John, we're getting further, going as far away as we can. It's still out there. We, don't, we won't know why. We don't know why, Aaron. 
What are you going to do in there anyway? John, oh, I just want you to uh, be there. Aaron, thank you. John, don't mention it. Aaron, why would I ever mention it? She looks away.